you know, what happened with that money? How does that get divvied out in the community and how is that helping seniors? Yeah, you know, I, I, it's funny, you know, we, we keep hearing, um, it's an interesting thing about the United Way and other charities. It, it's, um, it's somehow we're getting rich and, you know, we're spending all this money, uh, government money. I'm like, yeah, well, I'd like to tell my staff that, but uh, you know, it, it's for the New Horizon funds. We got 120,000 for our region, and uh, we keep five percent of that for uh, administering the funds. And so, what that involves is, you know, we do a call for proposal, we we rate all the the calls, we have to contract them, and then we monitor and figure out are they actually doing what they're doing, uh, what they're supposed to do with the funding. And or we uh, we will defund them, or we will bring the money back in and and fund somebody else. And so that's you know in terms of just that uh, New Horizons piece, and that and that was true also of the emergency community support funds that came from the feds. And I know you were engaged in that that piece as well, Paul. And uh, you know just heartfelt thanks for that uh, additional funding into the community, both the New Horizon and the ECS funds. Uh, you know, just as we're trying to help the nonprofits get reopened, the like Code Dental Clinic, we funded that for years through our donor dollars, uh, thanks to my donors out there, uh, and that helps people who can't afford to go to the dentist, right? So that's, uh, you know, and that includes seniors uh, who are, you know, on fixed income. So an example, Code Dental needs to renovate and do some work just in their clinic so that the dentist is safe and the patients are safe. You know, that's the that's the kind of, you know, so we meet with code, we go, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? You know, we we curate that and figure out, okay, that's that's a good solution. Maybe we can find something over here. Hey, I know somebody else who can donate that, bring that in. And I think that's the role of the United Way in a lot of this work is, um, you know, and, I, and I, I'll mention just, you know, when COVID hit, one of the biggest things that was needed was how do we know which services are open, which services are closed? How do we know uh, who's, you know, referring to whom and how do we support those folks? Well, it was the United Way working with all these coalitions and, and the city and folks like you, uh, you know, our elected officials, you know, every week we're going, who's, who's open, who isn't? We're putting it on our website. We're finding out you don't have any food. Your food bank's closed in your small community. Let's move some stuff up from here to there. And you know that that's the stuff people don't know that United Way does. So that's just a pitch to thank my donors and the government when they support us with some admin fees. Uh, it, it's like when it, an emergency hits, we we're there and we can curate a solution, connect this person who's got you know stuff to donate with somebody who's going to give uh, you know fix something in a program. So, um, you know, I'm not sure I answered your question about, uh, you know, that's kind of the, like why we exist and what we do. And it's, a lot of it is, is just uh, testing to see what works. Like I can see, you know, with the funding, that new horizon funding, we're going, this is working, this is working. Mm, that wasn't such a, you know, it was okay. It's not that the money was wasted. So then with the ECS, you know, the emergency community support funds, we're going, let's do that. And, you know, we tested that down in, you know, in Ladysmith, let's do that in Nanaimo. So, you know, a lot of, you know, why the federal dollars were so important was it gave us resources and it allowed us to connect the dots between who's open, who isn't, who's, who's uh, creating a good solution and uh, driving more of that good solution.